Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Jay the Rocket Man. So we're gonna be playing Halo Combat Evolved now that I've finally successfully defeated the Lego Star Wars. Now I'm actually on to Halo Combat Evolved to go ahead and defeat this Let's Play as well. So let's go ahead and begin the campaign. Very excited to bring this to my channel because Halo is one of those things that derive purely from my heart. Ah, oh, them fun memories on this game. I've played mainly the entire franchise, except for the fourth and fifth one. I actually have the fourth one sitting on the floor over there in the Xbox case, but... Or Xbox 360 case, but I haven't even played it yet. I know. Oh no, the tragedy. So let's go ahead and begin on the Pillar of Autumn. Uh, one of my friends actually suggested that I begin on Heroic Mode instead of Legendary. And you know what? I'm just gonna go a step back and do on normal because uh, heroic it was still a little bit too difficult for me. Like whenever I actually would play it, I got to about the fifth mission whenever I was trying to play through it originally, and you know it just was not fun. It was just it was just grindy, and I just kept dying. And it was like, oh, this isn't even fun anymore. So I'm actually just gonna be playing this let's play on normal difficulty. Sorry for those of you who want to see me avenge the covenant on legendary, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it on normal difficulty. So let me go ahead and read what the wiki says for this first mission. The Pillar of Autumn is the first campaign level of Halo Combat Evolved and the Halo Trilogy. The UNSC Pillar of Autumn, having escaped the destruction of Reach, has arrived near a strange object. And that right there is the UNSC Pillar of Autumn. Unfortunately, the Covenant, who are here as well, attack the ship. And then Master Chief Petty Officer Spartan John 117 is awakened from his Cyro sleep and makes his way to the bridge of the ship to be briefed by Captain Jacob Keys. And that's where we where we'll <laughs> that is where we will be getting the mission. I think we both know the answer to that. We made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS class battle groups, make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. Top notch graphics there. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report to your action station. This platoon, secure airlocks on deck 11. 14th platoon rendezvous with 22nd tactical at Wolfhead Charlie 14. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Once again, it is our job to finish with the Fly Force started. We are leaving this ship platoon and engaging the Covenant on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spines and toss them away laughing. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is gonna be your lucky day. Whoa. Sir? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. John will be awakened. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! This tube shows green. Cycle complete. 
Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. But this orientation should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back, sir. sir. We'll, we'll have, have you battle ready stat. Self-diagnostic software. I need to get a calibration reading for your battlesuit's diagnostics. Good. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing your health monitors online, sir. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. Yeah. I gave you a double dose of the wake-up stim. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the optical diagnostic station when you're ready. Since I'm playing on normal difficulty, they're gonna make me go through this orientation. So that's just, of course, how it's gonna be, unfortunately. And he just said, uh, "Meet me around." Floor, please. What'd you say, Blow? What'd you say, bro? I know the ordnance techs usually take care of your targeting sensors, but we're short of time, Chief. Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When look at the, on, each of the flashing panels and target them. Where they at, man? Where they at? Oh wait. Oh. Okay, that looks good. Sir, I'm getting some calibration errors. I'm going to invert your looking pitch so you can see if you like it better that way. Try targeting the flashing lights again. Is that better, or should I switch it back? Hell no! You need to, you need to do it the other way. Okay. Try looking up and down again, please. Do you want me to leave it like that, or switch it again? Yeah, okay, hell yeah, I don't want to invert it. But if you want, you can change it yourself later. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Ready for the energy shield test now. Please follow me to the energy shield test station. Fire teams, report to defensive positions alpha through Ah, let's look at his boot. Hey, look at that, guys. Oh, what is this? Hey, dang, he turns like crazy. What does he look like in the front? Dang it. What does he look like in the front? Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. What did he just say? I wasn't even paying attention to what he just said. What did he say? Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. Whoa. All right. Shields read as fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to Cryo 2. This is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics. On the double, Truman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. Okay. I'll leave the self-diagnostics running at least. Good idea. You'd better get to your evac group, Sam. Affirmative. I just have to reset the computer and I'm out of here. Oh God! They're trying to get through the door. No oh, crap. Security. Intruders in the hall too. Sam, come on. We've got to get the hell out of here. Oh Jesus Christ! Let's get out of here, Bo. We got. We got. We got to get out of here, man. From experience, I know I gotta go over here, so... Oh my gosh, man, he just got, like, molly womped. You guys see that? Coming and busted right in there, destroyed him instantly. Holy shit! Alright, just keep going. I, like, kind of forgot, like, what to do. Whoa, whoa! Jesus Christ! Alright, trying to go over here. I don't have a gun. I don't even have a gun. Defend me, gang! Defend me! They didn't give me the weapons diagnostics. I gotta keep running. Ugh, ah! I don't want to... Okay, it's that door, that door, that door. Let's go. I have to get it to the bridge to meet with job t with the captain. Oh, shit! Not Captain Oh shit, Captain John Keys. Oh man. I'm gonna get him out of the way. Excuse me, guys, excuse me, excuse me. Holy crap, what a rush. Just keep running. I can't help you guys out, sorry. See if I was playing on heroic or dip or uh move. If I was What are you doing? God! If I was playing on heroic or legendary, it would have skipped all this and gave me all my weapons. What is he shooting at? <laughs> What's he shooting at? Alright, so let's Oh Jesus Christ, man. Okay, I'm not going over there. Shut the doors behind me, Bo. I have to follow this guy, and we have to make it to the bridge. Come on. I really need a gun, and the captain's going to hand us over a pistol that's not even freaking loaded. So, that's wonderful, is it not? Hey, you. What's up, bro? Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant Superior battleships against a single Halcyon-class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three... Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. 
Report. It must have been one of their boarding parties. I guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the auto. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. The protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research. Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Let's insert it into the Your back of my head. architecture isn't much different from the autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. Oh, what in the hell good are you then? Well, that's actually a pretty good captain not to keep it loaded because, you know, that's just like an honorable thing. But now I need to find some ammo. Gee, thanks, bro. Alright, so that's gonna be the first objective here. Oh, okay, got some ammo. So basically, oh shoot, I remember one shot to the head on normal difficulty does kill them. Yeah, with just one shot and that should get them. I might as well pick up their plasma pistol because they can really do some damage to their shields. Like, uh, Those oh, could use some that's help, good. Chief. Do what you do best. Absolutely, Cortana. I will do what I do best. Man, normal difficulty, I can pretty much just run right through the mission. I remember uh, playing this on Xbox and being able to do that. I don't know what they just all said. Wait, why are we all going this way? Oh, okay, I guess that wasn't where we were supposed to go. I'm just gonna run right into these enemies, man. There's really no point even trying to dodge. Well, now that I say that, I didn't even get hit that entire time. Alright, let's kill that guy. Kill that guy. I'm gonna take his shields out, and then I go up and melee them. That's, be that's like, generally the best way to, to handle a zealot. Like, uh, you basically shoot them like that, and then smack them as soon as you get up to them. And even on heroic difficulty, you can do it that way as well. Of course, it's a little bit more riskier, but... Definitely better do. Hey, what's up, bro? And I don't really use the rapid fire. I just kind of like, you know, tap, 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 tap. It's similar to Counter Strike style. All I do is tap, tap, tap. All right, press E to reload. Press Q to switch weapons. I actually changed my controls. I actually didn't make it so that Q would change the weapons instead of Q would fl you would uh, put on the flashlight and tab is for flashlight. Just because I'm used to Counter Strike uh, controls. Whenever I was playing it. All right, so I'm getting this guy from behind. Literally, just hit him again. He should be dead. All right, there we go. Hit, hit him with the pistol. What's up, gang? Back, back, back. Ah, I met back up with you, everybody. Met back up with you. What's what's this way? Hopefully, I'm going the right way. Yeah, I see more bombs going off, so or more grenades. Oh yeah, that's right. I have grenades. Forgot. Of course, I haven't really picked up any yet, but it would be great to get some. Like I said, guys, I actually have played this campaign before, and uh, I beat it like a long time ago. Whenever I was like a kid, my dad actually had this on a on a floppy disk. It was really fun to play, but uh. Now it's more or less I'm having on like a kind of like a nostalgic moment playing this game. Because I remember sitting there like not being able to beat the campaign mission. I was so jealous of my older brother, man. He could like just devour this game on Legendary. And it was great. I didn't even know how he did it. Of course, I was probably like three at a time. So uh, me trying to play on easy was still a challenge. I can't see Jack. Let's go ahead and turn on light in here. Thank God for that flashlight, man. Because without it, I'm actually going to pick this up right here. Because without it, I really couldn't do... I really don't want to get rid of my pistol or my assault rifle. I'll just keep them, you know? I'll just keep them. Because I'll find ammo sooner or later around here. Let's go ahead and turn off the flashlight. Because it does get kind of annoying. I'm going to go ahead and flank around here to catch them. Uh, catch them off guard. Because I know a zealot's down here. Yep. I was right. Because that's generally how this mission goes. And I almost destroyed them alone. Let's not get hit by these grenades they're about to throw in. Because I know they will. Because I know they're battle mechanics. Like I said, guys, uh, I played this game pretty extensively, especially Halo Reach. Uh, I began on Halo Reach because I played the prequel, and uh, that was after, of course, Halo CE. I would, I would have to say Halo Reach was the first campaign I ever defeated, 
And then, uh, and then I beat Halo CE whenever I had it on the computer later on, whenever I wasn't three years old and could barely play video games. I could barely put my hand up to the mouse because it was too far away on the, on the actual desk. Oh, the good memories. Um, well, that wasn't the right way to go. Let's meet up back with the gang over here. That wasn't the right way to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back over here. What's up, gang? How you guys all doing? Oh, let me go ahead and crouch here. Sorry, I didn't exactly. Know. Hey, can you get out of my way? I remember, I remember killing the, uh, killing these guys whenever I get so annoyed. And I remember the, it, they would turn on you if you actually did it. Why are they still shooting over here? I guess this was the right way we were supposed to go. Sweet, I got more ammo. Dang. There we go. One shot, one kill, baby. Maybe this was the way I was supposed to go. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because it is kind of like a maze in a way. But this game, uh, the game campaign is very linear. I'm actually going to go around, which means that it only has one ending. I love it. I love the, um, ah, grunt birthday party or whatever it was. Whenever you kill a grunt, like all the confetti would spray out everywhere. It was a Halo Reach feature. It's actually a, um, man, what are they called? Ah, it's like certain things you can add on the, the campaign mission. Ah, oh, what was it? I completely forgot. And you guys are probably like slapping your face like, I know exactly what it is. It's like an egg that you can put on uh, prior to the uh, campaign. I forgot what they're called though, but it's fun. The grunt birthday party or whatever. Whenever the confetti pew sprays whenever you get a headshot on a grunt. That's, that's always like the best thing ever. Or at least it was whenever I used to play it. Uh, past the second mission, I really forgot how this campaign actually went. I remember, um... After we escape the ship, we land on the actual Halo, and, uh, the ship has been damaged. There's only, like, two or three survivors. There's actually zero survivors but Master Chief from the original ship. Um, and then there's other ones that actually crashed. Okay, now let me rephrase that. On the pod that we came in, there's no other survivors except for Master Chief, if I remember correctly. And, but there are other pods that landed on the Reach, or the Halo, not the Reach. Because the Reach was destroyed. I should have played the prequel first, now that I think about it. I should have played Halo really, really, yeah, Reach first. And also, that brings up another discussion. I actually don't remember what time Halo Wars was set in. Halo Wars was not one of my favorites. Did not really particularly like that game. I couldn't really understand it either. But uh, I'm more into the FPSs, not really so much strategy. Let's go ahead and pick up. I really didn't need that health. I don't know why I just did that. I did not need that health, but once again, it is on normal difficulty, so I really have nothing to worry about. All I have to do is damage their shields and shoot them, so... That's all I really gotta do here. Covenant, all right. On the landing above us. They're on the landing above us, but thank God it's not heroic. I can just climb up here and shoot them. Thank Jesus. Thank the Lord. Yeah, see, on heroic, there's like several zealots up here, and zealot are actually these guys. They're, I think they're called zealots. Uh, there's, there's, there's different types of like armor they have, or it could be two separate uh, beings. Like there's one with the blue armor, there's one with the pink armor. So I'm actually not too sure. Look at that. Ints the headshots, man. Let's go ahead and take out his shields by hitting him in the head. Because that's how you take out their shields. Let's go ahead and hit him once with the melee. Hit him a second time with the melee. Got him. Got he. There they are. Man, this is so easy. I'm just blasted right through. Man, okay, maybe normal was not such a good idea. Have I really not picked up any grenades? It's kind of crazy. The motion sensor is still not on either. So that, that could be what it is. I think, uh... I think it's actually disabled temporarily until certain moments in the mission for uh, normal and uh, easy difficulty. Because, but they give it to you right off the start on, on heroic and legendary, if I can remember correctly. I can't see Jack. Whoa! Hey, what's up, Bo? What's up, Bo? Did I really not kill? I thought I shot him right in the head. That one's dead. That one's dead. No, it's not dead yet. Are you serious? I'm starting to like overestimate my abilities here. I'm like sitting here like, yeah, he's definitely dead. Yeah, I got him in the bag, and he ends up still being alive. Like, what am I really even doing? Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, did, where in the world did that guy come from? He must have been around that corner. Sneaky little bastard, wasn't he? Sneaking, sneaky. Of course, I killed him, so we're all good now. I guess we're supposed to go this way. Let's go ahead and pick up the ammo from this thing. Can't see Jack. But I'm still making progress, so that should be good. Wait, this is, uh... are launching. We should hurry. Yeah, there's the pods. They're being launched into outer space to go to the Reach. Or why do I keep calling it the Reach? To go to the Halo at the to the next of the ship. The I'm gonna say destroying the life pods. Halo on that to the right Warning. of the ship. Glass doors closing. We have to use the ship's maintenance access ways. Follow the nav point. It will lead you to an opening. Nav points. So we have some navigation points. So let's go ahead and go on up over here. Let's see what we got. Is it a pie waiting for us? No, it's not. Okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah, that's right. We still have, like, a lot of this mission left. 
forgot about that. I thought that was the pod that we escaped on. What am I talking about? Let's go over here. The other way led to a dead end. This way probably doesn't. Maybe it does though. Covenant movement outside the access ways. Activating motion tracker. Let's find a safe Thank exit. you. We're she finally close. gave me the motion tracker. We need to tracker. find another route. Motion tracker shows all clear. Wait. We need to get through that door, but it's been damaged by an explosion. Analyzing. The door's control mechanism is offline, but it's taken a lot of damage. You should be able to bash it open with the butt of your weapon. Ah, bash it right open. Thanks, Cortana, for your advice. Use F to melee. Oh, already did. Sorry. I'm already ahead of the curve. Alright. I know there's some enemies right here, so let's go ahead and turn off our flashlight. Nice. It was just one guy. It was just one little grunt. Let's actually not go this way and go head up. Let's go, like... Oh, my gosh. It's a great opportunity right here. Um, Gotta handle this carefully. Oh, shoot. He heard me. Holy crap. Man, this guy's, this guy's a beast. All right, now I got him. Now his health is low, so let's go ahead and kill him. Any more grunts? Yeah, I think there's another grunt out here. Or if it's another zealot, that's fine, too. Let's go ahead and clear out the room, boys. Excuse me, excuse me. Let's not hit me again. Thank you, zealot, Mr. Zealot. I don't even care if my health is low. Keep mm. your head down. There's two of us in here now, remember? My bad, my bad, Cortana. I didn't mean to get you all frizzled up. Put your panty, Get your panties out of a wad and get back to the mission. What up, bro? <laughs> they can't shoot me. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is originally where I spawned out of. So we had to go all the way around the ship just to get back to this part. Let's go ahead and kill this guy before he even gets to me. Okay, that was pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Oh, shoot. Oh, Jesus, what is going on over here? The ship is blowing apart. Oh, are we on their ship now? Because we it, it's like just completely changed scenery. Like it looks so weird. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Chill out, man. No, we're not on their ship. What am I talking about? It's just really burnt in here from all the explosions. I'm guessing it wants us to go this way. It's kind of indicating that. Oh, no, we already... That's just the same way where we just came from, wasn't it? Yeah, because that's where the zealots just were. So I guess we we do have to go this way. Alright, so I don't see like it, it has like a maze perception to it. I really don't know exactly where to go. Maybe I can figure this out though. Ah, oh, there's the door. Let's use my flashlight again to get through here. Oh shoot! He scared the hell out of me. There's another one. Any more? What about this way? Nope, no more that way. What if we go forward? On to dawn. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to face him head up. No, let's go out this way actually and face him from behind so they won't know. There's some behind me, too. They're shooting at me. Oh, wow. There's an entire freaking colony of these guys. All right. Using the lawnmower. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the lawnmower. That's the lawnmower technique. Just swallowed my own spit there and, like, lost my wording. Did you guys see that? Lawnmower. All right. So what we got? I know there's another guy over here. I think these guys are called zealots. Hopefully I'm not providing you wrong information. The melee to the face is what put him down. I'm just going to keep following my other men. And I do have one little bit of health missing. So let's go ahead and pick that up. We're going back through here, guys? Or is this just where I just came out of? You know, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to be different from the group. Because they all... Okay, I guess I can't go that way. What about this way? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's an enemy. Okay, gotcha. Come on. There we go. Yeah, okay, I'm getting closer to enemies again. Okay, so you know it's the right way if enemies are appearing. So that's a good sign. I mean, am I right or am I wrong, to be honest? That's at least, that's like the huge thing about this. You know, if you were, if you actually had enemies on your screen, you're going the right way. Because once again, this is very linear. They want to provide a challenge. So they're going to line up as many enemies as they can. So a good indication that you're going straight where the mission wants you to go is by enemies being on your mini-map. Or at least that's just what I can conclude from my study of Halo. I don't exactly know how the programming is behind this game, but that's, if I had to assume, that's what it is. Oh, we're picking up some grenades, finally. Yes! Everybody scram! Oh, shoot! Sorry, guys. There we go. Knocked him in the next week, son! Knocked him in the next week! They put his hands up! Did you see that? He put his hands up. He's about to surrender. There's one last lifeboat. Quickly, get aboard before it launches! Where's it at? Where's it at? 
Nope. That's, I didn't even get to an area. Oh, that was it. Now would be a very good time to leave. Punch it. Ah, sir. Ah, sir. <laughs> I didn't say I. I. Ah, sir. Aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Look! Didn't even tell him a straight answer. What is that thing, Lieutenant? Elefondo. We're landing on it. You're on a ship in it! I knew it. The autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual. Not exactly, Chief. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. And that's the end of the mission, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed the first episode of Halo Combat Evolved, and please stay tuned for the next mission. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and peace out.